Welcome back to another Tay Tech video. I have an exciting video for you guys today. I know a lot of people are probably wondering how to get this on their phones. So you have the new iPhone 7. Everybody knows it's out. So now that you have it, what can you actually do with it since, you know, there's no jailbreak or anything. So what can you actually do with it? Like most, and you're on iOS 10, most of all the emulators or anything does not work. You can't get too much stuff to load. And my favorite is the PSP emulator, which I love. And for some reason, I could never get it to load. I could never get any games to work, but I have found a fix and I know how to get it to your iPhone 7 running iOS 10. As you can see right here, I am running iOS 10 and this is the iPhone 7 matte black. So this is the first thing you do. The two things you're gonna need, you're gonna need Cydia Impactor and you're gonna need the IPA file PSPP version 1.1.1 and I will show you where to get it from this is the only one that works. Trust me, I've tried plenty of sources. Nothing seems to work for iOS 10, but this does. And I'm gonna show you right now before I show you how to get it. I'm gonna show you that it does work. games but beware not all the games work well most of the games work well but some of them are still laggy and if you know how to set it up and you know how the settings go then you'll be fine so first we're going to show you how to get this so i'm going to completely delete it off my device so i can walk you step by step on how to get it And there it is so now that it's gone so the first thing you want to do is you want to go and you want to download these two things from the links in the description and then once you have that you can come back here and you want to get your phone and you just want to get a, a cord and you want to plug it up Okay, so all you want to do is you just want to get a plug, your charger, and you just want to plug your iPhone up to the computer. Once you do that, you can sit your iPhone to the side. You will not need it right now. Okay. look like this once you open it up it's real simple you don't have to do anything else. you just drag the IPA file right on top right there and then you have to enter an Apple ID and password this has to be a valid Sometimes you do have to go back and open the device for it to for it to actually read it. <laughs> and voila, there it is once again. 
the PSP emulator and so you open it and there you have it and from here you can go to freeroms.com download ROMs and through iTunes you can put the ROMs on your device I'll make a video a little later showing you how to do it um, but there you go thank you for watching this emulator does work and peace I'll catch you in the next one